What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Spear, baby Kill, <clears throat> and we back with another message. Nine times out of ten, if you hear right now, this message is probably meant for you. So take a resonate, lead the rest out. Everything is for the highest good and the harm of none. No deception, no trickery. Let's dive right into it. Um, it's like I'm sorry, I've been absent. I've been getting a lot done in my real life, so them. Y'all that stay with me, thank you so much. As always, thank you so much for staying around in the journey. Those that leave and have a blessed journey. You know, I'm all about peace, love, and positivity on you and your journey. I ain't holding no prisoners, but I don't know. I'm just not going to lie. Other than that, I've been handling a lot of real-life business, getting my money together so I can come out even harder. Um, but... Uh, the universe been kind of weird lately. Real weird. Not even saying weird, but like, I don't know. I don't know. I was at, um, uh, first off, let me say, um, uh, thank you guys for your source. Thank you, Spirit Guys, and all the divine beings for this message. Uh, anybody that come across this message, it's probably meant for you. Uh, I am Spirit Baby Kill. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. If you're old subscriber, thank you so much for supporting me. Um, I was somewhere chilling. I was at my auntie's house, chilling on the back porch. And literally, somebody was playing some music. And they literally was playing all the songs I've been listening to like for the past week or two. Well, pretty much the time I haven't been on here. Uh, it ain't that many songs, but it was all the songs. One of them was... The Isley Brothers, Choosy Lovers. Um, the other one was Isley Brothers, Journey to Atlantis. The other one was uh, Love TKO. The other one was If You Think You Lonely Man. So, heavy on love, I'm getting. Like, yeah, heavy on love, 222 on the clock, as I say that. Uh, it seems like a divine masculine potentially i'm not gonna make this a specific reading but some type of divine masculine or you could be a divine feminine someone is waking up realizing the love that they once had for someone or a past lover that they had you know wasn't the one you know they explained they didn't choose the lover love tko and if you think you lonely now you know fed up left a past lover that wasn't for them and now they're going towards a lover that's meant for them. I'm not gonna make this a lower reading, but that's a message for somebody. So love is coming towards you, just be patient. Oh uh, yeah. Choose a lover, choose a lover. That's been my song though. Choose a lover. Girl, I'm so proud of Yeah, I remember I made my handmade orca and I put them cards on there. So that's wild. Um uh, so yeah, somebody getting chose. <laughs> Let that run into the world, you know. Thank you, Absolute Source. Thank you, Spirit Guys, and all the divine beings for this message. As they everything that comes from this message is from the highest been on harm none with the most benevolent outcomes from all spirit guys, benevolent ancestors, angels, and any other divine benevolent beings that want to come through in this message. Our angel Michael, please remove all negative energies that are negatively affecting us, all distractions, hisses, curses, spells, manipulations, interferences uh projections uh contracts negative entities negative energies dark clouds or anything else negatively affecting us throughout all time space places dimensions and realms put a stop to it and put a stop to anyone that is trying to negatively affect us and bring us into our highest greatest destiny for the highest good and the harm with the most benevolent outcomes amen 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 let that run to it what am I feeling? I want to go tarot first. Because I don't really do that. And I want to go tarot first. <laughs> so we're going to pull out the angel tarot. Let's see what messages we get from the angels. For the highest good and harm man with the most benevolent outcomes. But somebody got some love on the way. You might not even know the person. It's, it's just deep. You're just going to have a loyal person. Your past person. You didn't feel too secure. With this person, yeah, you really love them, but it felt like if you gave this person your all that they were just gonna break it. But God is sending you a person that's really gonna let you drop your shields and you can be yourself and they can be themselves. You know what I'm saying? 
They died right into it though, for the highest good and the harm and all with the most enabling outcomes. Not making this a love message at all. It's just a heavy message that's been coming out. And I'm, you know, trying to start learning how to just do what God tells me. So, you know, if it does become a love message, it is what it is. Hopefully I described that enough. Hopefully somebody resonated with that. Thanks for spacing with you guys. I've been outside today. You can't be spacing me too bit. I die run to you. Five, five, five on the clock as I start. So somebody going through a massive change at this time. A beautiful massive change. Let's see what we get. One car flew out. Temperance. The God of joy. Reconciliation regains the favor of those one has offended. Wow. So somebody might got some reconciliation coming in. Temperance. Earth angel energy. Regains the favor of those one has offended. So if you might have offended someone in a relationship or anybody... There's some rec reconciliation coming in. I don't even like to get on this type of energy, but reconciliation coming in. The God of joy. Let's get by two more. Let's see what we get right here. So we got temperance. Temperance. Patience. You know how that is. Knight of Pentacles is the next one. The praiseworthy God. Light of understanding. Acquires knowledge and cures illness. Lelai. He L. Knight of Pentacles. So you got Temperance, Knight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. That's the Two of Cups in reverse. It's crazy, but I don't even think this card has a reverse. But you got the Two of Cups. Fruition provides expansive intelligence and gives the grace of God. So you got the Temperance, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Two of Cups reverse. I take a go. You know, two of cups is about love, but you got it in reverse. So the first card we had was temperance. Let's see what that takes us. Let's see what that takes us. Number 35, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8, abundance. So this angel is Have Hava Kea, the god of joy. Powers. This angel is a power. Uh, the psalm of this angel is Psalms 116, verse 1. I love the Lord because he have heard my voice and my supplications. Temperance. Those born under child, under this angel, will love to live in peace with everybody. They will make it their duty to repay the fidelity and good offices of those in their service. This angel supports peace and harmony in families and rules over contracts secessions and about amiable distributions so reconciliation regains the favor of those one has offended wow let's get to the next one knight of pentacles because i gotta see first y'all number eight cool no that's number six i was gonna say eight again So you got 6, 61, which is 7, and you got 35, which is 8. 6, 7, 8. Uh, number 8. No, number 6. I'm sure. Number 6 uh, is the next angel, which is the Knight of Pentacles. La, Lahi, the praiseworthy God. Seraphim. This is a seraphim. Psalms 9 verse 12. Sing praises to the Lord which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people his doing. The person born under this angel's influence will love to converse and will acquire fame through their talents and actions. 
This angel helps acquire knowledge and, occur and cures illness. I gotta put these together, yeah, hold up. So with the Knight of Pentacles anyway, which is kind of the slowest moving Knight in the deck of the tarot, uh, it's slow moving, but it's set in stone. Like it's, it's bound to happen because it is a pinnacle, which is material, uh, wealth, success, and abundance. So things might be moving slow, but it's really because you are in this temperance energy, which is a period of patience, reconciliation, and a time of peace that's coming to you. But at the same time, you are gaining more understanding and acquiring more knowledge because it's the peace after the storm. After all this tri trial, tribulations, conflict, you finally coming into temperance, peace, earth, angel, energies, balance. Reconciliation with energies that may need to be reconciliation. I mean, reconcile after you know energies became hectic, and you also, you know, slowly but surely learning and gaining the knowledge and understanding to bring anything down into the material world you need to. The next card we got is the Ace of Swords, which is a new perspective, a new way of seeing things. So this is most definitely a. a New mental beginning, a new way of seeing things. 11, 4 to 4 o'clock, as I say that. you having more patience, more temperance, more balance, uh, more temperance. You're controlling your temper. You're being able to control your shadow, light and dark. You're able to see the lessons for what they are. And you're gaining the knowledge and understanding and wisdom that you need. Really the knowledge and understanding because you won't be wisdom until you become the king of pentacles so right now you're gaining lots of understanding and knowledge ace of swords with the next one right which is number 61 yeah number 61 so a new perspective meheel that's this angel meheel god above all names elevated this is an archangel Mehael. I never heard of this archangel. Uh, the song for this archangel is Psalm 113, verse 2. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. The person under Hemael will love travel and all honest pleasures. They will have a sensitive heart and will love will cause them grief. Wow. This angel can obtain anyone's friendship and rules over astronomy and physics. So, so other than we knowing this is a new perspective, uh, you hopping into the Knight of Pentacles energy, which is a slow but also for sure learning, uh, foundation building energy of the Pentacles, materialistic or just your material world slowly but surely coming together because you hopping in also hopping into the temperance energy patience because you in this new perspective but wow but 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 let's look at the influence of these angels to see even deeper what this message is saying so the first one was number 35 right 35 35 because we got six seven eight they might be out of order, but they still six, seven, eight. Um, the first one is peace. This this angel's influence is peace and harmony and families and rules over contract secessions and amiable dis distributions. Uh, his influence will also make people love to live in peace with everybody. So this is all about peace. This temperance card is all about peace. You coming into peace reconciliation with many people you having the forgiveness you need to you know you in a higher perspective now where you don't have to get on the same type confirmation four 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 on the clock as i say they confirmation you don't have to get on the same type of time as people because you know how protective you are now and now you have that temperance that balance that 
you know, balancing your dark and light. So four, five seats on the clock, as I said it, so people can't take you out of your peace. You finally made it into this peace. This angel is about peace. So you're coming into peace with everyone around you. It could be family, even though you might be at a distance. It's ways this peace is coming to you. And also peace to yourself. It said it rules over contracts, secessions, and amiable distributions. So, you know, some of y'all could have some contracts coming in, some secessions, most definitely success, and amiable distribution. So some, some things getting distributed into the world. So pay attention. It's giving money. Knight of Pentacles was the next card. It's giving money. Not even money, but you know, your physical world coming together. You coming into peace with not only, you know, the people around you or the people you close to, but also uh, at peace at what you do. Because the next one, like I said once again, the Knight of Pentacles, which is number six. I hope I ain't yapping. Number six. Uh which the next angels influence the first one is peace the next one is love to converse and will acquire fame through their talents and actions so this is you hopping into the energy of you repetitive but you doing your gifts talents and abilities i'm spirit baby kid my business is all about insomniac dreams so i guess god used me to really inspire people or give the message that you need to always focus on not always because it's a balance temperance patience not going too hard because you'll burn out or not never doing that because you'll never get nowhere temperance balance but to always go after your dreams and do what you need to do yes you can get the money from getting a job and doing this do that but you doing your gifts tennis and abilities will help you fulfill your desires and also fulfill your dreams so the second angel is about influencing you to love to converse, which is talk to people, reconciliation, uh, sell me love on the clock as I say that. Love to converse, be open to converse, be a good communicator, and acquire fame through their tenants and actions. So the things that you do out into the world and also how you put your tenants out into the world. This is what God is calling in, you into because he's bringing you peace. Now you got the peace to do what you need to do. Uh, he also helps acquire knowledge and cures illness. So if anyone around you might be dealing with an illness if you might be dealing with an illness you will be again the knowledge or you got angels on your side at this time to help those around you or even yourself be cured from this illness you also are gaining lots of knowledge at this time lights of understanding so you gain a lots of knowledge and understanding at this time which is putting you more into that temperance energy because if you have understanding and knowledge it pulls you into wisdom and then you can have patience you can have temperance you can have understanding so that you can have be at peace period the next one is the ace of swords number 61 archangel his influence is you would love to travel and all honest pleasures. So God wants you to dwell into all honest pleasures if they honest. You know what I'm saying? He wants you to have that joy. Be able to fulfill your desires and feel your pleasures. If that's fame, if you want to travel, if whatever the case may be. This is God basically telling you that. He bring you peace, reconciliation, so you can go off into the world, travel, do what you need to do, and gain this fame, material abundance, uh, fortune, and have all the honest pleasures in the world so that you can be a happy joyous being for god confirmation with the train in the back uh you, you also will have a sensitive heart and love will cause them grief so you might have had some grief in the past but now you're coming into balance with that because you know your sensitive heart but you also know that you got to have balance with that uh you my bill can obtain anyone's friendship and rules over astronomy and physics so you diving more into physics at this time and astronomy astronomy which is astrology is how the planets influence you the astronomy is the study of planets so you could be diving more into the study of planets and physics at this time but also 
you know, you're able to obtain anyone's friendship. So that reconciliation coming in, uh, peace coming in and obtaining anyone's friendship, you know, you've been able to really attract anyone that you need to attract at this time to help you further along your journey. Ace of Swords, you have a newfound perspective. You at peace, you have boundaries, you sensitive, and you're able to attract all types of beings. And you Now you have the boundaries and peace that you need that you can attract the right individuals. 2020, you have the sight, newfound perspective. You can see 2020 vision, and you temperance. You're able to balance it. You got a sensitive heart, but you ain't going to let people take that for granted. You open to new friendships, but you ain't open to just anyone. Final card is Two of Cups in Reverse. That was the final card. Two of Cups in Reverse. Which is number 19. We know Two of Cups is about love. Number 19. Which is 10. Close not a cycle, 10. The swiftly, swiftly hearkening God thrones. Leo Via. Leo Via. That is the angel of the card. This is a throne angel. The psalm for this angel is Psalm 40, verse 2. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. So that's that patience, that temperance coming in again and being patient for God because he will answer your cry. He will bring you all that you need. Those born under this angel's influence will be amiable, lively, and modest, and bear ever adversary adversity with resignation. This angel can obtain the grace of God and governs memory and human intelligence. Two of cups of love. It's in reverse. We got love in reverse, which is letting me know. I mean, just. Not let me know anything because I don't know nothing, but pretty much saying that it's time to be open to love. That's the only reverse we got, and it ain't bad. It's pretty much saying. The next step in your journey would be to be open to new relationships because God has now blessed you with peace. You need to see these things from a new perspective because you're able to attract anybody. You can be anybody friend. I say you friendly, but you have a sensitive heart. You have love in you and you have a lot of understanding and knowledge that needs to be brought out into the world. It may be some people that you need to reconcile at this time because that's what indicates with this re reverse. It's the main card overshadowing everything, the two of cups. So it's time to step into the energy of reconciliation with others and also with yourself. Use the understanding and knowledge that you gain thus far and, you know, pretty much come into balance with others. Reconcile, you know, reconcile. It doesn't mean you got to be friendly, friendly, but you get to choose your friendship now. Reconcile with the people that you need to have temperance. Come to peace with previous friendships, the things that happened. Don't close off your heart. Don't get into this two of cups. But know that God get, put you through these things so that you can have the understanding and knowledge so that you can gain the right friends because you can be anybody friends, but you got to have boundaries with it. Because this is talking so good, and this will be the last thing that will confirm it. It's talking so good. talking so good about the um friendships and stuff but it kind of looks like this person down here is drawing a sword out they could be protecting them but it's also they could be smiting them down either way that's a powerful angel so they, they protect them regardless it's just letting you know that you're going to be protected from You know the wrong individuals you've been in this two of cups energy for too long now it's time to reconcile with yourself let go of the past you gain understanding to see what these type of individuals do in your life now it's time to you know be open to new friendships you know friendships relationships and knowing that you're protected in this process it's been 24 minutes already and we were just on a 
Archangel messages. Let's get some cards to clarify this. Beyond Lumiria. Pull some cards from Beyond Lumiria to clarify this. Because I need some type of clarification. Let's dive right into it. It could be friendships, relationships. It's time to reconcile with your past. Gain the understanding and knowledge that it, you know, it blessed you with. And hop into this energy of being open. Loving compassion. Yeah, it's time to harp into that heart energy. Seven energy. Six, 16, seven. Loving compassion. It's time to open back up your heart. Let me get one more. I'm a 16. Loving compassion. It's time to hop back into love. One more to clarify. Ram Bridger. So we got number 16. I'm a 16. Loving compassion, unconditional love, empathy, compassion, care, friendliness. So hopping into the friendliness energy, goodwill, benevolence, beyond duality, safe space, forgiveness through expanded perspective. That ties it around. So it's time to have some forgiveness through expanded perspective and don't let the you know that past take you away from having that same love and compassion to share it to other people that might do deserve you because the previous people were only tested show you how to have boundaries or for you to release certain contracts confirmation with the training and back uh open-hearted joy open-hearted joy we gotta let the train pad by a minute hold up let's go grab some water so as I took the little break, drank me some juice, it came to me. With that love and compassion coming out and round bridger, this is a message for somebody that you might have, you know, let your trust, well, you put your trust in the wrong individuals or people that may have hurt you, uh, play with your friendship, play with your love, whatever the case may be. The universe wants you to understand right now to look at those things from a higher perspective and see the lessons that you learn from it, what type of understanding that you learn from it, what knowledge was blessed upon you, and how can you use it for the more down the road without letting it turn you. Because you got love and compassion and Ram Bridger. With, what also gave me is the universe needs you to turn that two of cups back around into love, love and compassion. Because it's people that need it. You have understanding, you have knowledge. And you have a certain energy confirmation. Certain energy that helps other people literally put things together. One 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 on the clock as I say that you have a leadership energy. So if you let the people out your past stop you from giving that love that you gave to those people in the past that didn't deserve it, now it's gonna stop you. It's gonna block you from getting what you wanna be. From truly being a person you need to be and from helping the people that truly need you now so we got loving compassion loving kindness is one of the greatest forces available to us on earth it has the ability to transform all unconditional love is the vibration mostly closely aligned with God or the divine when we allow ourselves to drop deep into heart space we feel interconnected and in a state of oneness as we, as we choose to direct our lives with love, all that is not real or serving us will drop away. Conflicts resolve, power struggles dissolve, and a sense of inner peace and conflict will radiate from within. Love is the root of happiness. When we can fluidly give and receive with the ease of breathing in and out, we can fly freely. Loving compassion is a fundamental element in the balance of life. It holds the seeds of the new paradigm of evolution. When doing hands-on healing, this is the force we call on. It is the life force energy or, or God essence, and it brings healing, vitality, and transformation to everything it touches. So love conquers all. It transforms all. You can reconcile anything within without you by just giving love into the situation. You ain't got to be in person with the person or nothing like that. But giving love to the situation, thanking God for the lessons you learned, 
for everybody that came in your life because obviously it was for a reason and you know the rest is history when we manifest or affirm something into the world from a place of love the reasoning imbued in the statement will reflect our intent if we manifest from fear our journey will bring all the learning needed to gear us back into love so you know stuff just be lessons to pull you back into love unconditional love transcends duality it sees beyond reasoning and situation to allow new stories to be told and for new beginnings to emerge it transmutes all that is out of balance back to zero point and bridges heaven and earth bridges heaven and earth and the next call you got is round bridger so love bridges he heaven and earth you are a rim a ram bridge a ram bridger so you bring heaven into earth you bring other reality into earth but you got to stay in love to be able to channel these energies down into earth because if you in fear you won't be able to decipher or see things or you won't be using your intuition this card invites you to bring more loving to the situation at hand whether it is toward yourself or someone connected to the question it may apply a need for forgiveness or for seeing things from a fresh more expansive perspective this card is a reminder that you are loved and have infinite access to the gentle yet powerful force of loving compassion as and when you need it. To bring yourself back into your heart, think about those you love and moments with them where you have felt joy. Expand this feeling out to more and more people, people, creatures, and places until the whole planet is infused with this beautiful, warm, and loving feeling. Trying to step back into love. Everything happens for a reason. Final card we got out of this deck is Round Bridger. Visionaries, architects of the future, information from other realms. So you, you're gaining information, knowledge from other realms. Bridging the seen with the unseen, inspiration, seeding a new earth traversing different states of consciousness birthing ideas from subtle reality and journeying have you ever felt that there is more than meets the eye in the perception we call reality that there is more going on behind the scenes do you ever glimpse beyond your physical senses and wonder if what they perceive is just the tip of the iceberg do you ever get visions or insights just as you are falling off to sleep do you dream in colors that there are that are more vibrant than you have experienced in waking life. As you raise your vibration and explore different states of consciousness, you may experience phenomena you might have believed only happened in fantasy stories. Through meditation and journeying, we invite a greater awareness of the subtle realities. These realms can be amazing places to bring through pioneering ideas, creativity, and to explore the edges of the universe. This card is about bridging the seen and the unseen. You are a pioneer of your life. The way forward may be in your dreams or visions. You may find it useful to do automatic writing or intuitive drawing to capture some of the more elusive information. Be creative and don't take on the opinions of others. It's time to think and do things a whole other way. It's time, new beginning, new perspectives. After all, the saying goes, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So it's time to break a cycle you might be currently have broken a cycle and in a new beginning and you trying to you know put your feet on the ground that's what the knight of pentacles energy is all about this is about you know this realm bridge you being able to pay attention to your visions your dreams the intuitive nudges your heart let your heart guide you at this time because obviously you might have been thinking with your mind before or you might have been thinking with your past patterning and now it's time to do it a whole another way so stay in your heart pay attention to the intuitive nudges the visions the dreams or anything else that the universe is giving you at this time and move along with those don't go back to the past because it will only cause you insanity so it's like repeating a cycle you got the understanding and knowledge now to not have to repeat a cycle it could have been a, a past life cycle a lifelong cycle whatever the case may be but you not in that cycle no more and now you just gotta stay and let your heart lead you 
kind of in an unknown energy, but you've been able to bridge the unseen with the seen. So, while like you gaining these visions, this knowledge, this understanding, Knight of Pentacles is kind of slow, but it's for sure stay in love because your heart will guide you. 808 on the clock, as I say that. Forgive the past, forget the cycle, because it will drive you insane. Release them, reconcile it within, and without all the risk will happen. I don't feel like this reading should go further more. Like, I feel like it's basically the universe, angel, spirit guides, letting you know that you are a pioneer, you are a visionary, and you can bring, you know, unseen things, visions, uh, messages, art, uh, new things, creations into the world by following your heart. The universe designed you a certain type of way that it knew that it knew what you love and it made you a way where you can do the things that you love to do and also be of service. So now pay attention to the signs, symbols, synchronicities, gain the understanding, the knowledge you need from the universe to continue this journey and release the past with love and reconcile. You know, because you out of that cycle and all you have to do at this point is stay in love. Get back into that heart. Don't close your heart off because of the past because now you're in a new cycle where, you know, you're going to be attracting a lot of good people, a lot of good friendships. So I hope this resonated. Uh, if you would like a personal message, you can book me at my website at insomniacdreams369.com. You can also book me at, at my email at insomniacdreamsllc at gmail.com. Uh, I'm doing a sale right now for my readings for only $22. So tap in uh, in my email. If you book me through my site, that's something totally different. So I hope you have a blessed abundant timeline. Until next time.